another GCSE Economics video with me, Mr. Goff, from mrgoff.com. Today's video is an introduction to demand. To start off with, let's look at what actually is demand. This car you see is the Ferrari 550 Maranello. I love this car, but could I be considered part of its demand? The simple answer is no, because demand is the willingness and ability to purchase a good or service at a given price in a given time period. My willingness and ability to purchase this good would not match the price range that it would be sold at. Individual demand is the demand from one individual customer for a product. How many of the item would they buy at each given price point in this particular time period? Market demand is what we get if we add together all the individual demands of all the potential customers for the product. Derived demand is a special term for when the demand for one good or service is derived from the demand for another. An example of this might be in seen in potatoes. Although people buy potatoes as they are, many potatoes are sold to firms. The demand from these firms for potatoes is dependent on the demand for the potato products they create, things such as crisps and frozen chips. Similarly, the demand for real estate agents is derived from the demand for real estate. The more people searching for new property, the more real estate agents are needed. The demand curve is a graphical representation of demand for a product. Although we call it a curve, at this point in learning economics, it will mostly be drawn as a straight line. The y-axis is labelled with P for price. The x-axis is labelled with Q for quantity. You will notice that the demand curve itself is labelled with a D. Demand curves slope downwards from left to right because of the law of demand. The law of demand states that quantity varies inversely with price. What they mean by that is, the higher the price, the less of it someone will buy. The lower the price, the more of it people will buy. This means that if the price of a product is lowered, there will be an increase in demand for that product. This is known as an expansion of demand. You can see it drawn here in this graph. When we see the opposite and the price of a product increases, causing demand to decrease, this is known as a contraction of demand. As we have just seen, if the price of a product changes, it will result in a movement along the demand curve, an expansion if the price goes down, and a contraction if the price goes up. There are also other factors that we will look at in our next video that can cause the demand curve to entirely shift either to the left or to the right. When the demand curve shifts to the left, less of the product will be demanded at each given price. Conversely, when the demand curve shifts to the right, more of the product will be demanded at each given price. That brings us to the end of our introduction to demand video. I've been Mr. Goff for mrgoff.com. I hope you'll join me again for another video where we'll look at the factors that can cause these left and right shifts of the demand curve. Bye for now.